What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's having a great day. As you can see, we're in the truck right now. It's dark out, it's late. Just got out of work. Um, it's not even that late, it's freaking seven o'clock at night, but you'd think it's midnight because it gets dark so fast right now. Gotta love winter. Anyway, so today's video is gonna be kind of special because what we're doing right now is I've got the trailer hooked up behind me and I am going to pick up one of your bikes. Yes, guys, I am picking up a subscriber's bike today. Well, tonight, rather. And we are taking it over to Dave's house, and we're actually installing a cam kit in a 2020 Road Glide Special today, guys. Now, this is the first time I've ever done a video like this, and uh, it's, it's kind of special because one of you guys, I had a subscriber, hit me up on Instagram at Do Work Motorsports, and he hit me up, sent me a couple messages, showed me a picture of his bike, and basically he said he's in the market for a camshaft, and he wanted my opinion on what camshaft to run with his pipe and air cleaner and his application. And uh, basically I was talking to him back and forth. We ended up meeting up for dinner one night, and I showed him what you know how much all this is gonna cost parts-wise. And uh, we basically ordered up all his parts at dinner, brought my laptop to dinner, uh, ordered up all his parts, and now they're here. So at dinner, I told him, I was like, what we can do is, it's winter here in Michigan, it's snowing, and roads are bad, and you know, you can't ride right now in Michigan. So I have a trailer, an enclosed trailer, and I offered to him that I would, you know, come pick his bike up for him if he wanted to get this done, you know, sooner than later, you know, sooner. Uh, you know, there's a state trooper, so we don't get pulled over. So he actually mentioned that he's going to Daytona this year in March for bike week. So he wanted to get the cam done before Daytona if we could. So I said, as long as the parts are in stock, not on an extremely long back order, we'll be able to get it done. Well, the parts he chose, they ended up having them in stock. So we ordered them all up and yeah, now we're here. So what I'm doing is I'm driving over to his house. I got the trailer with me and we're picking up his road glide. I'm taking it over to Dave's house and we're gonna put it up on his lift. And we're gonna put a camshaft in this bike today, guys. Also, I wanted to add that Sam lives like 30 minutes from me, so it's not too far. That's why I'm able to go pick his bike up with my trailer and get it done for him, uh, just because we are kind of on a time crunch. Daytona's in less than two months, and apparently he has a couple other friends that might want us to do a cam kit in their bike as well. So that's why he wanted to get it done now. So I was able to fit in some time to go pick up his bike, take it over to Dave's, knock it out, take it right back to him. So that's why I'm doing that today. And uh, like I said, I'm excited, you know? Shout out to Sam. Uh, he's a great subscriber and supporter on the channel. He's been messaging me for a while and um, I'm very happy to be able to do this for him. And I know he's gonna be stoked when he hears this thing start up. Like, it's just a stage one bike right now. It's gonna be a whole lot different when he sees it next, so. Can't wait to see his reaction on his face when we start it up for the first time. So yeah, we're almost to Dave's house now. Shout out to Wheaties Performance. If you guys are local and you guys need a cam kit done or any motor work done, any performance work done, handlebars, I mean, you need some work done to your bike and you're not confident in doing it yourself and you don't want to mess with it, hit me up on Instagram, Do Work Motorsports. You might be the next subscriber to get your bike featured on the channel. All right, guys, we'll see you at Dave's house. All right guys, so here's Sam's bike. We just got it up on the lift. I wanna go over it with you guys here. So Sam's got a 21 inch replicator Prodigy wheel on the front. I think it looks really good. What do you guys think? It's got the Lindahl rotors on there as well. I think the 21 inch looks good on there. He's got a couple other little things. He's, he painted his oil cooler cover. He's got like this gloss black piece here that covers the kickstand, which we're actually getting ready to take off the chrome kickstand and replace it with a black one. Uh, we went ahead and installed the Trask vented trans cover. Getting ready to take the tank off as well and replace the stock manifold with a Fuel Moto 55 millimeter manifold. Uh, we're also gonna take off this chrome horn bracket and make it black. We got a bunch of powder coated parts over here. <clears throat> we replaced the stock chrome engine mount and dog bone with a black one as well. You can see right here. And then yeah, so he's got the uh, Bassani Road Rage exhaust, two into one, with a dummy on the left side, a ghost pipe. And Dave's already torn into the motor and already put the new camshaft in the bike. And now what he's doing is he's putting the push rods in and adjusting the push rods now. 
Uh, we do have to remove the stock plastic manifold and put in the new fuel moto aluminum manifold. So Sam went with a Woods 22XD cam for this 114 with the uh, two into one Bassani Road Rage exhaust. And I'll put up a before and after clip. He's running the Screaming Eagle. I think they call it the heavy breather. Um, Screaming Eagle air cleaner there. Here's the two into one. It's a two piece deal. So there's the header pipe and there's the muffler. Dave's getting ready to finish up putting the cam in there and uh, adjust the push rods, put the pipe back on. I got to download the tune. I got a tune from Fuel Moto. So we're going to plug that in and download the tune. And then, yeah, start it up for you guys. So another thing Sam has on his bike that I've never seen before are these, they're called Super Shocks. I've never even heard of that brand before, but they look pretty cool and looks like he's got lowering blocks down here. So uh, he's got the bike lowered a little bit in the back. All right guys, so we just pulled the old intake manifold off. As you can see, it's plastic and we are putting on the new aluminum manifold from Fuel Moto. So we're putting the fuel rail back on, put the injectors back in it and bolt it back up onto the bike. And then we put the tank back on, put the exhaust back on, and we'll be ready to fire this bad boy. What do you guys think? You like the all gloss black push rod tubes? I think this bike's gonna look killer and sound even better. So stay tuned guys, we're almost done. Alright guys, so here's the first startup with the new Woods 22 XD cam. Here we go. All right guys, so we just got Sam's bike done. I wanna show you guys something else that we did while we had it over here. We took the gauges out and sent them over to Jim at Gauge Mods, and Sam wanted blue background, white needles, so that's what we got for him. I'll go ahead and uh, turn the lights off so you guys can see how good these gauges look, but uh, oh, there you go. Check those out, guys. So much better. Shout out to Gauge Mods once again for turning these gauges around same day. I took them out of the bike, gave them to Sam. He took them up to gym. He did them within the hour, brought them right back to us. We put them in the bike and uh, it's good to go. So another thing we did is we installed the Harley uh, beveled uh, wheel spacers down here. Gives it a nice touch on both sides there. Um, added a couple things. We put some smoked turn signal caps on the tail lights there just to black it out. It looks a lot better. And then obviously you guys saw earlier in the video, we did all the black powder coat on the motor mount, the wishbone and the kickstand. Definitely gives it a nice touch there. But yeah, the bike turned out good. The Woods 22 XD cam sounds great. And now we're getting ready to load the bike up in my trailer. It's literally three degrees outside, super cold, uh, but we're gonna load the bike up in the trailer and I'm gonna go deliver it back to Sam and get his reaction when we start it up. how 
freaking cold it is here in Michigan today. This is definitely the coldest day of the year so far and probably the worst day to go pick up and deliver a Harley. But here we are. You gotta do what you gotta do when you live in Michigan. All right guys, so here we have Sam. Uh, we're in the trailer right now because it's literally three degrees outside here in Michigan. Freezing. It's freezing. So uh, we got his bike right here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start it up for the first time. Now, this is a true cold start, guys. First off, Sam, come check out the gauges. We got these gauges done by Gauge Mods. Wow, look, man. Look how much better that is. Wow, unbelievable. Worth it, right? Shout out to Do Works and Weedy <laughs> Customs. <laughs> I appreciate highly it. recommend <laughs> Do Works and Weedy Customs. Appreciate it, appreciate it. All right, let's get this thing in neutral. All right, all right, first startup. this thing unloaded and get it in his garage and I'm gonna show you what he's got sitting in his garage all right guys so we just got Sam's bike in his garage and check out this he's got a brand new 2023 CVO Rogue Glide in silver guys I absolutely love this color he's got the chrome works two into two exhaust on it really good looking exhaust for this bike I know there's not many options out for right now for these bikes but once we can start cracking into the ECU on these bikes these things are gonna be fast guys like Sam obviously had the stage 1 2020 and then he went and got the 2023 CBO and he said that this thing was so much faster so tell us a little bit about your thoughts on the new CBO Sam uh, it's uh, it's an excellent bike I mean it sounds like shit when you first get it when you change <laughs> the pipes and the breather yeah I know I'm waiting to get some new bars and Yep. It's going right back to do works and really <laughs> performance. As yep. soon as they get all the parts and whatever needs to be done. Yes, sir. So I highly recommend these guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate <laughs> it. So as soon as they unlock the ECUs on these bikes, we'll be able to start uh, doing more with these 121 VVTs and uh, tuning them as well. So can't wait to see what we can do with them because they're already fast. And if we put a cam in these bikes, I mean, they're going to be really fast. And I mean, just look how nice the gauge cluster is, guys. Like, it's, wow, look at that. All LED lit up controls, big screen, just like in your car. Comes stock with the Rockley Fosgate speakers. Really sharp, guys. Nice headlight. So basically this bike is a stage one from Harley right now. It's got the Screaming Eagle stage one kit. So what that includes is a heavy breather, uh, their new heavy breather air cleaner. Uh, Chrome works two into two exhaust and then the Screaming Eagle tuner that only the dealership can tap into and can tune So for right now Harley is the only ones that can tune these bikes But as soon as dino jet gets their license for these new bikes, we'll be able to tap into them, but it's cold It's three degrees outside. We're getting ready to uh, button this up put the road glide back in its spot for the winter and uh, Yeah, you're going to Daytona, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you'll see you'll see Sam on the channel here uh, in a couple months once we get down to Daytona for Bike Week. But uh, he's stoked on his new cam. Oh yeah. That we put in this yeah, bike right. here, and uh, this thing's gonna be a ripper, guys. It's definitely gonna be a ripper. Uh, yeah. 
as you guys heard in the video that 22 xd cam sounds good got a couple other little upgrades to it and uh also got those gauges done by gauge mods once again shout out to gauge mods yeah. those things look killer guys so if you guys don't have your gauges done yet i don't know what you're waiting for Hit up Jim at Gauge Mods, and uh, he'll get you right. All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. It's freaking cold. But, yeah, Sam's bike turned out good. He's very happy with everything. Uh, the bike definitely sounds a lot better than it did when I picked it up. But that's going to complete today's video, guys. If you liked the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate all your support on the channel. If you guys are interested in doing a cam kit and you guys live in the Metro Detroit area, make sure you hit me up on Instagram at Do Work Motorsports, all one word. You might be the next lucky subscriber to get your bike done by me and Weedy's Performance. So stay tuned, guys. A lot of content coming to the channel. You're not going to want to miss it. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>